uh, currently we are looking at the stimulation of a multi cycle engine ecu system so this is a multi cycle engine ecu stimulation which represents the switching of six stroke to four stroke and also from four stroke to six stroke mode uh, the six stroke engine was developed by mr chana and freda and of nikoda motors and mr binish has developed this ecu which can switch from six stroke to four stroke mode so uh, they have patented this technology currently i'm pointing towards that clock which represents the crankshaft and now i point towards the cylinder representation and the piston movement the white line moving represents the movement of the piston and above that you can see green lights actually glowing so in six stroke mode we have four valves and in four stroke mode we have two valves so that glow of the green light at the top shows the valve movement currently we are running in the six stroke mode so all the four valves will be operating in the six strokes and when we select the four stroke mode only two valves will be operating in the center top you can see the spark plug also getting glowing at the power stroke uh, point of time it also gives us a green light over there okay and towards the left of the cylinder representation you can see uh, stroke in progress which represents which stroke is happening uh, in the system so you can see the green light is glowing below the six stroke that is why it is in six stroke mode and the piston is moving now in third stroke fourth stroke fifth and the sixth stroke you can see the needle movement okay now it's second third fourth fifth and the sixth stroke is achieved okay if we need to switch it from six stroke to four stroke mode you can uh, do it by manually or there okay so the green represents economy in the six stroke that's why green is selected and when we select the four stroke mode the red light glows which shows the power mode when the power mode is selected so you can see the stroke in progress the stroke will only reach fourth stroke and then goes back one two three four and goes back one two three four when six stroke is selected two three four then five and then six again goes back zero one two three four five six etc okay so that's how we can switch from six stroke to four stroke in the left side it shows the rpm as we accelerate the rpm increases so we are on 1048.14 rpm you can see the speed at which the crankshaft is rotating in the clock that shows the speed of the uh, crankshaft above that white lines moving inside the cylinder shows the speed of the piston and the speed at which the valves are operating is indicated by the green light above and also strokes in progress you can see how fast it is moving it is electronic system so we don't have any uh, limitation in increasing the rpm but in practically we have limitation so now it is almost working near 12000 rpm see the speed of the crankshaft speed at which the strokes happening the speed of the piston movement and the valve operation uh, it is shown by the stimulation of the ecu so this ecu can stimulate at any cost at an electronic system but practically this is not achievable okay now we have reduced uh, the engine rpm to 60 so that we can show you how the each movements are happening so six stroke is selected because the green light is blown over there below the six stroke and see it is uh, rotating very slowly the crank rotation the piston movement and the stroke selection and the valve closing and opening uh, which is represented by the green light and also the spark plug is also getting blown over there okay now let's see each strokes which are happening in the six stroke okay now it is in six stroke mode and uh, you can see the valve glowing the spark plug glowing uh, which represents uh, the valve operation and the spark plug operation currently we are on the fourth stroke okay of a six stroke engine now going towards the fifth stroke which is moving from top to bottom and uh, raising about the last stroke of a six stroke okay exhaust is open so let's see zero to one is suction stroke inlet valve is open piston moves from top to bottom now it is second stroke piston moves from bottom to top you can see the white line moving so all the valves are closed okay spark happens that is power stroke so piston comes downwards and the fourth stroke is exhaust stroke you can see the green light open exhaust valve is open we are having the exhaust now fifth stroke is air intake in six stroke engine so air intake is happening as piston comes down and air exhaust that's the sixth stroke happens as the piston moves upwards okay that all the six strokes happening in a uh, six stroke engine you can see the valve operation now again you can see how it happens now we are switching the four stroke mode that means 
from 0 to 1 suction is happening piston moves from top to bottom okay to BDC now from BDC uh, to TDC top uh, dead center so that's the four stroke that exhaust valve is getting open okay let's see that simulation once more and see clearly how uh, it happens this is the end of the four stroke so we have exhaust valve currently opened so this is the first stroke suction piston moves from TDC to BDC inlet valve open second stroke all the valves are closed piston moves from bottom to top okay now the power stroke the spark plug glows over there power happens piston moves from top to bottom and last is the exhaust stroke and first stroke exhaust valve is open so this is how a six stroke to four stroke simulation happens if you like this video please click the like button